back to Unai Emery there. He, he, he's so delighted with that victory. Of course, as a manager that's been to a club, right, when you've been let go and you feel like you've been let go a little bit early, and I'm probably that's happened to you in your career, when you go back there and win, is it a bit of sweet take? So do you think you should? Oh, absolutely. I remember, <laughs> uh, I remember getting sacked by West Ham and I went to Charlton and we beat them four. And then I went to Palace uh, and Newcastle come and we beat them four as well. That you because you know you know everything about the opposition uh, when you've been the manager, so you can you know you can work on all aspects of the game where you think there's a little bit of a weakness in the team or whatever. Oh, man, I like, I like but it. you know it's an extra motivation, and I you know just listen to him. Then he was talking about the demands he put on the team and the demands he put on himself. They were the words he used. What he meant by that was there was extra demand yeah. and extra motivation. Which there is going to be when you go back to a place where you felt, you know, you had a you've had a bad hand dealt you, and that's he obviously felt that at Arsenal. There's no doubt. And the irony is, if Arsenal don't win the league, I didn't realise they beat them twice. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. So what? Six points. It was uh, they uh, they lost to Villa Park, didn't they? Arsenal. Amazing. I didn't. I couldn't remember that. But uh, you know, today there was uh, there was worthy winners actually uh, in a tense game. It was a very, like you mentioned, it was, it was a tense game. Yeah, back in 9th of December, Aston Villa won, Arsenal nil. John McGinn, didn't he? he scored after seven uh, minutes. There was a bit of question over... Oh, and then the they, yeah, oh I remember yeah. and they held out, held out. Like, yeah, there was backs against the wall jobby. Different performance. They did a job, yeah. Uh, let's go yeah. back to the calls now. Let's speak to an Aston Villa fan who was at the game. Uh, Jacob, good evening, Jacob. Good evening, how are we doing? Yeah, well, not as good as you, Jacob, because I tell you what, what a fantastic manager you've got. Oh, mate, absolutely world-class. That conversation about who's the third best manager in the league, it's no debate for me. Unai Emery's absolutely unbelievable. The way we played today, first half, dealt with the pressure really well, really well. And then second half, just blew him away. All over him. I don't know what Arteta was on about. He's an absolute clown. Absolute clown. <laughs> the fact that he thought that they should be 4 up in the first half is a disgrace. And also, I just wanted to make a mention out for some of the some of the media at the moment, some of the people on Sky Sports in particular, you know, Izzy Christensen, Jamie Redknapp, Gary Neville, all of that have been talking about Ollie Watkins and Ivan Tony and being backing them, being backing Ivan Tony over Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins this season has been the best striker in the Premier League. Absolutely no doubt about it. Was it 19 no goals with no penalties or something? Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. No penalties. And he's up there, one goal behind Haaland and certain people after Tony coming off a, a gambling ban and not playing for six months are saying that English should take Ivan Tony over Roddy Watkins is a disgrace. Yeah. It's a disgrace to him and it's a disgrace to Villa. And well, also, I just wanted to shout out to Troy Deeney as well. I hope you've seen Ollie Watkins post about him saying how Troy Deeney saying how he's a winger trying to play up front. Ollie Watkins is three times, four times, five times the player Troy Deeney ever was. <laughs> Absolutely class. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree, Jacob. Not on the Troy uh, debate, uh, but also, but on Wally's Ollie debate about the striker of this year. Definitely for me, I'd agree with you. I think he's been the best striker. His movement, the the link up play that he does, and the type of goals he gets. And as we say, that's uh, all those goals. I mean, Haaland, I mean, he must have five, six penalties. I don't know how many he's got. So, you know, in, in open play, he's the top goal scorer in the Premier League. And he certainly needs to go uh, to the Euro Championships because um, he is the perfect backup uh, in, the type, in the type of midfield players that we got. Tony wouldn't be more... He's much more suited yeah. to a Phil Foden and Grealish and everybody else that we got going on um, than uh, Ivan Tony for sure. Just looking at Villa for the rest of the season, of course, they take a, a two-win, uh, two-one aggregate to uh, to Lille in the week. Yeah, and just think about uh, Emery's record, you in know, Europe. in Europe. It is just astonishing. So they could possibly win the conference, yeah, and get oh, Champions I actually, League I don't know if you remember, I did tip you this said, match. You did. I said they were going to win it, and I still think they're going to win it. But that is a tough game at Lille. Lille are a good side this year, uh, and that is going to be, uh, that'll be a tough game. Don't If they get through this one, I think they'll win it. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.